All right, so I, I saw this article where the Supreme Court ruled against the uh, living people and their bodily autonomy, and and I can help help you understand why. Um, in the eyes of the court, you are not a flesh and blood living man. Um, and to prove that, just pull out your driver's license. Your name is in all capital letters, and whenever the government spells your name in all capital letters, it is either a corporation or a corpse, and they own it. So you have no rights to it, okay? Uh, believe it or not, in the eyes of the court, you have no rights to it. And and they don't tell you this. I mean, keep in mind, uh, break down these words. Adder, right, which is a, uh, a venomous liar. And to a turn, which means to take from someone and give to another, is a thief. So if you put the two together, you have an attorney, <laughs> right? And and, uh, and 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 in my eyes, they're all they're all criminal. Um, they have given themselves away to Britain. You know, anytime you register something, like you register to vote, well, when you register to vote, you're giving something away. You gave your rights away when you registered to vote. So stop voting because it doesn't matter if you take a blue pill or a red pill. They're all poison and, and it's all a show. You know, a sorcerer sorcerer has a magic wand and it's made of holly, right? And he uses that holly magic wand through Hollywood to control your mind because government, if you break it down, is goober meant. It means to control. Meant means mind. And, and so it's mind control. Um, everything's an illusion that, that you've been lied to about your whole life. So you want to, if, if you're in the, especially in the military or any of the, or U.S. citizen, which is defined U.S. citizen is the 10 square people that live in the 10 square miles or born in the 10 square miles of Washington, D.C. It's military bases or fort or it's territories. Now, territories are not the continental United States with the 50 states in it. Their uh, territories are Puerto Rico, Guam. Th those are U.S. territories. And if you live in those, the government claims ownership over you and considers you a dead entity. Okay. So if you're going to the court fighting a vaccine mandate for your life, well, it doesn't matter to them because you're already dead. And they don't tell you that. It's all crooked. Uh, and really, all these judges um, are not judges. They're bankers. They've been bankers since the uh, treason of the Banking Act of 1933, sucked every last penny out of America, and we went bankrupt. All these lawyers and, and head judges and uh, state attorneys and attorney generals had a secret meeting where they took an oath to keep a secret that America, or, or United States, its, uh, its judicial branch, it's congressional branch uh, and it's executive branch are all owned by its creditors. The creditors are the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and they have their own copyrighted laws called the Uniform Commercial Code. And in order to practice those laws, you have to have permission, right? And that's why you need the bar card, the British Accreditation Registry, to have permission to infringe on those copyrights or to not be infringing on the copyrights when you practice it. And, and uh, so um, when that attorney registers, you know, British Creation Registry, he is giving himself away to the Queen of England. That is a title of nobility, strictly forbidden by the 13th Amendment. Uh, but they're getting away with it because, one, they keep a big secret that I just told you, and their courts are foreign courts, right? Uh, that Every one of them should be required to have a green card to be on American soil because they are not American. By the 13th Amendment, if you have a title of nobility, you cannot be a U.S. citizen. So all of them are criminals, right? They are. They're all criminals that have violated an oath to the Constitution that they shred up every day, Okay. And, and uh, so if you want to get out of the mandate, you can't hire an attorney. The second you hire an attorney, you have given the consent to the court that you are a dead entity because you hired the British Accreditation Registry. You might as well just register yourself right over to the queen. You have to present yourself as a living man and you can't hire an attorney because see, every attorney has an oath, right? To the queen of England first, the judge second, the prosecutor third, and the client always comes last. 
always. And, and that's why, you know, it takes three signatures to put a man in jail. It takes the judges first, the prosecutors second, but the third can either be you or your attorneys, and your attorney has an oath to sign it no matter what. It doesn't matter how much you pay them, they are, they're doing you wrong. They're, they are worthless liars and cheats, okay? The only time an attorney might do you some good is when what they consider a slave, right? Like you, if you're a U.S. citizen, sues another slave. Oh, then they'll fight like hell for you, right? But they're also, when they win, they are uh, deducting money from the person who lost Sestakuvi Trust, which is a whole other story where they made a trust in your name. That's what the birth certificate is. Um, and they bonded you for a million dollars and insured you for two. And that's that's how government is funded. It earns 40% interest a year, and you're being bought and sold uh, as U.S. Treasury bonds on Wall Street. Okay, It's slavery, which is also illegal. It's human trafficking, which is also uh, unlawful. Now, the difference between illegal and unlawful, if you break the Uniform Commercial Code, right, or you're a dead entity or a corporation, you are in the realm of what's legal are illegal. But when you're a living man, right, it, you're dealing with what's lawful and unlawful, and the Constitution is the law of the land for the living people. We the people, right? But if you're a U.S. citizen, you are not part of we the people. You are a dead entity, a corporation of one, a fictional entity that's in your all caps name. So you got to get that straight first. You can win these mandates, but you have to do it as a living man, um, so in the court, but see, the, with these contracts, have to be of like kind. So a corporation can enter a contract with another corporation, and a living man can enter a contract with a living man, but a corporation cannot enter a contract with a living man, and vice versa, and nor can it order or mandate it to do anything. But if you're in the military, that's not an option. But there's a way around that. If you go to tasa.americanstatenationals.org, you can be a dual citizen. So you go to the menu button, hit correct your status, scroll down, and you'll see a block that says for federal employees, okay? Because you need to be an American. You can't be an American and a U.S. citizen at the same time, but you can't have the dual citizenship, right? And in dual citizenship, you have all of your rights, right? As a U.S. citizen, you have no rights. You have what's called civil rights, which are the whims of Congress. And if they decide you need to be mandated, you are mandated and you have no recourse if you don't have that other dual citizenship, you see? So guys, save your lives, please. And it's very important that once you know a truth, to tell it. So tell it, share it, spread it, because just that act, you might save one life. And that is so important right now. Because there's people out to do you harm. And and I exposed who they are. They're all British agents on American soil. Nobody you're seeing that's supposed to represent you in Washington is representing you. They are not. It is an illusion. You're not voting for anybody because when you registered to vote, you gave your rights to the vote away. So all those little numbers, right? And they're kind. They kind of give you 2.5% back. That's why in the 2020 election, there was a decimal point and people couldn't figure out one vote, right? One vote. One man, one vote. No, one man, 0.25% vote. And the IMF is deciding who your president is. None of them represent you, right? Turn off the TV. It's a part of the same mind control device owned by the same central bankers that have a shell company called BlackRock and Vanguard and own every piece of media that's been fed into your brain to government you. Government. Mind control. Save your life. Spread the word. Please. America needs saving and you can't do it as a dead entity. You have to be living men and women on the land. And one living man documented on the land jurisdiction has more authority than the entire federal government. Okay? I love you. My name is Mike. If you need any help or questions, I'm here to help you. Okay? It's my job. <laughs> All right? I, I love you. And I, I and every American, I love you. You need to stay alive. Don't let them call you a dead entity. I mean, pull your driver's license out. Your name's in all capital letters. And English grammar has very strict rules. When names are in all capital letters... They are either corporations or corpses or names of ships, and they consider you a ship. And to be exact, a Puerto Rican shipping vessel, right? And that's the means by which they contract the living man and make him pay taxes. And all your tax money goes to the IMF, not you or your country.